world's toughest bacterium seems to have superpowers that can survive even the deadly gamma radiation that comes from a nuclear explosion. An international group of scientists has published the results of a long study of a soil microorganism that can stand about a thousand times more gamma rays than a human. One of the main focuses of, of the work in our group is the study of this bacterium called Deinococcus radioduans, which is extremely radiation resistant. And so we are trying to understand a little bit more how it has developed such properties, since nowhere on Earth can, are there such high doses of radiation that it can actually withstand. Was the radio-resistant bacterium brought to Earth from Mars, as one theory suggests, or were its mechanisms developed on Earth as a side effect of drought or other distress? Its defense works on the molecular level. To see how this incredible jump between the worlds of physics and natural science works, a traditional microscope won't do. Scientists use the European synchrotron, located in Grenoble, France, to discover the atomic structure of the bacterium's protein defense system. Synchrotrons produce thin beams of X-ray light using the energy emitted by electrons accelerated in a vacuum inside a circular magnetic field. The powerful X-ray beams are then tailored so their wavelengths can have the desired experimental characteristics and the molecule hunt can begin. Basically, that's what all of this equipment is doing. It's producing good vacuum, it's producing um, stable pr production of the X-rays and it's, and it's allowing us to choose which of the particular wavelengths we want so that we can do the experiment that we need to do. Even in an X-ray beam, a single molecule would still be invisible. So scientists grab them with relatively large protein crystals where the molecules are arranged in an orderly repeating pattern. The key to the bacterium resistance is a specific protein, UVRA, which triggers immediate repair of the DNA helixes broken by ionizing radiation. So this is the first protein in this whole process. So it's the first protein that comes and actually recognizes the damage and then tells the other proteins they can come and do the repair in this site of the DNA. Understanding the mechanism may help improve our own less efficient DNA repair system, which is vital but often fails to prevent human cells from dying or mutating into cancerous forms. Every day in each of our cells we get about 10,000 lesions to our DNA. Um, so our genome is quite fragile and um, we, we have many lesions that occur due to many different things such as UV light of course um, and some products we may eat or oxygen radicals tend to cause damage to our DNA. And if we didn't have such a DNA repair system we would of course have um, increasing amounts of mutations and breaks in our DNA and this would be lethal to, to most of us. An X-ray passed through a crystal spreads out in a diffraction pattern giving an idea of what the protein's molecular structure looks like at any angle. For the full picture, the crystal has to be rotated. You have to look through many, many crystals, hundreds of crystals. This is only possible because we have automation, we have extremely intense X-ray sources and we have very good big detectors. And so results such as this of resolving a structure as complicated as this are only possible by bringing together all of these components. And that's what we've been trying to do here in Grenoble over the last five or six years. And this is how it looks, the complete 3D model of the protein coordinating damage repair inside the Deinococcus radiodurans, the first blueprint of a plant's impenetrable armor, defending life against the deadliest conditions in the universe. <laughs>